Hello everyone, welcome to another edition of Meta Tuesdays here in Arena Underground. This week we are playing the revised version of Mardu Knights in Best of One Standard. As always, if you enjoy the content, please make sure to click that subscribe button below. It's a way to support our channel for free. And now let's talk about this deck. So basically, we saw some people playing Knights again last week in the meta. And I just remember how fun it was to play Mardu Knights. And, you know, back in the day, I don't know, six months ago, whenever it was. And um, yeah, we, we just went ahead, we pulled up a list, we threw in a couple of things together. And we just went ahead and had a lot of fun with this. So as you guys have seen this before, this is just, again, just a bunch of knights going together in a very ag aggressive strategy. We're not using Rotting Register, which is a thing, and we're not playing Embercleave. This is just Knight Tribal with some removal and some protection. Obviously, we are playing some cards from Ikoria, but not really something that affects the deck that much. We do have a copy of Luru's as a, as a companion because it just fits pretty well. So why not have it as a companion? And then we have two copies of Dire Tactics, which is a great removal spell if you are playing um, the Orsov or Mardu colors. So that's what we have from Ikoria. Otherwise, we have a lot of knights here, including Fervent Champion, Knight of the Eben Legion, Venerable Knights. We have three copies of Worthy Knight, Worthy Knight, which is great against just creating tokens as you play your knights. Black Lance Paragon. Not a lot of people playing this card anymore because they're not playing aggressive strategies, but in this case, it's an amazing card, just surprises your opponent out of nowhere. Two copies of Smitten Swordsman or Smitten Swordsmaster, which is a great card as well, just gaining you life, draining life from your opponent. Four copies of Rimrock Knight, four copies of Inspiring Veteran, which is our Lord. You need to have a Lord if you are playing any sort of tribal strategy. In this case, we're playing Knights, so we have our Knight the Lord giving us plus one, plus one to all of our creatures. Then we have four copies of Drill Bit, which is awesome again you need this you want to get rid of shatter the sky you want to get rid of devon and Claren. you want to get rid of fires of invention you want to get rid of winota you want to get rid of luca all these cards that your opponent could play and just wreck the game so you want to take those away from their hand and then we added three copies of unbreakable formation unbreakable formation is just great especially in an aggressive small creature type deck like this people are just going to want to wipe the board and you know be done with all of your creatures so breakable formation comes in handy a lot here for this deck list and uh that's pretty much it we we had a lot of fun playing this apologies and um yeah we hope you guys enjoy the games make sure you learn from those mono red matches we won two games against mono red that we were we were very unlikely to win and one of them, our opponent made a really big mis mistake, and the other one, it wasn't as subtle, and you know, it was you, you couldn't really tell what was the mistake. But our opponent just decided to stay back, be less aggressive, and that I believe was what cost them the game at the end. So cool games for you guys to learn something as well. Um, and we were just having fun. I don't know you, you if you guys you know leave some comments if you think we could have done some better plays or not. Uh, we just went ahead and had fun playing this deck list and uh, yeah we hope you guys enjoy the games and yeah it's still a pretty cool deck for best of one so if you guys uh, can put together this list real quick just make it happen and have some fun. We'll see you next time. Have a good one. Okay guys we are playing Mardu Knights in best of one standard. We go first. We don't have a red source but we get to sort of curve out nicely here so we're gonna keep this turn one shuck herself to play venerable knight pass the turn all right we see a temple of the sea interesting opponent's playing maybe some sort of control style deck all right i do like that fervent champion let's go attacking and then we can drill bit All right, seems good enough. All right, time wipe, Thought Erasure, Ash Shuck. Let's let's take away that time wipe for now. Opponent could definitely Thought Erasure take maybe our Vitus one, and that's okay. They get to scry, so they're they're playing Esper Control. Okay. 
That is okay with us. We go attacking again. Opponent goes down to 12. Pass the turn. We can then flash in the Black Lance Paragon just to get more stuff on the battlefield. Death Touch and Lifelink. Alright, so they are going to try and kill something. Let's see. Alright, they're trying to kill the Fervent Champion. We are going to fight as one. Give the Fervent Champion indestructibility. Play the Black Lance Paragon to get more stuff on the battlefield. Doesn't really matter. Short. They gain three. Not bad. Get to attack with everything here. Alright, opponent goes down to six. So, if they don't find a board wipe now, I think that's game. Pretty easy there. Tap Temple of the Seat. You might have another Oath of Kaya, but that's not really going to do it. So, what is their plan here? I don't think they can do anything. We're just going to play the Black Lance Paragon, get another creature on the battlefield. Soar gains them some life. Okay. Guess that's not the worst. Alright, they go down to two. Pay two life. Has to turn. We're not going to play lures just yet, just in case they found a board wipe. So they can play Ashuk, but no, that's that's game. Good game, Esper Control. Okay, guys, we are playing Mardu Knights in best of one standard. We are on the draw against Obush. Not too happy. We're kind of flooded here. I think I'd rather... Yeah, this is much better. Uh, we're going to keep this. Send a worthy knight away. See where our opponent does. All right, so this is Mono Red Obush. Very cool. It's good. Um, don't really have a play here. So... Sacred Foundry tapped, past the turn. Let's see what else they have here. It's a Tin Street Dodger, okay. Into probably a light of the stage. Very cool, no light of the stage, that's fine. We get to... I guess we play a Worthy Knight here and see if our opponent has a Shock, which they most likely do, but that's fine. All right, they pass. Play the mountain. Slaying fire. Yep. It's cool. Hit us for three again. Very well. So this time we get to Worthy Knight into Fervent Champion. Create a token. No attacks. Pass the turn. Land. So they're almost at Obush. They get rid of the Worthy Knight. They still don't have great attacks here other than Tin Street Dodger getting unblockable. You might also have a shock. Let's see. Alright, just make Tin Street Dodger unblockable. Go in. It's fine. Alright, so we need a way to get rid of Obush here. Obush is not going to attack right away, so it's cool. I think we just inspire and veteran here. And um yeah, go attacking with Fervent Champion, get in for two. Pass the turn. We can at least protect ourselves from Obush with the Knight of the Ebon Legion. Phoenix is nice, they get in. Or three here. Yep. Very well, Drill Bit, it's not gonna do too much. I guess we leave the Black Lance Paragon for later. Alright, we get to do this. Alright. Let's go attacking. Oh, 
All right, hit our opponent for a bunch. Now, don't think we want to play Blacklands Paragon um, now. Like, Obush is not attacking yet. Obviously, we're going to get hit for quite a bit here. We're going to get hit for two and four. Um, so, but we do have to drill a bit and see what they have in hand. Okay, yep, Legion Warbus, that's a good one. Knight of the Eba Legion grows. We're sort of protected against Obush. Yep. Very cool, we're gonna get hit for six here. We do have a Black Lance Paragon, that's pretty nice. Our opponent has to block next turn or they die. All right, so let's see how we do this. If we attack with everything, and our opponent blocks Knight of the Evil Legion with Scorch Spitter, then we get to six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's exactly ten. So they need to block with Obush, which allows us to gain some life and protect ourselves. We kill Obush, they still can hit us for quite a bit. Yeah, I don't think we have a choice here. We have to go for it and see what they do here. Let's see how they block. Yep, expected that. What else are they blocking with Obosh? Inspiring Veteran. Cool. So that means... We're gonna gain 3. We're gonna be at 7. It might not still be enough. It might not be enough here. Because of the Phoenix, which gains plus two, plus two, six, exactly seven. Yeah, that's pretty good. I mean, we can hope our opponent makes a mistake, but don't believe they are going to. We gain a bit of life. Um, they do have to pay. All right, they do have to pay for 10th Street Dodger to not get blocked from Blacklands Paragon. So that puts them out. All right, there's the mana. Yep. I think they have it now. I think they have it now, if they figure that out. They also have Castle Embereth. Trying to figure out the math here. Yep, that's one, goes to four. But I think they messed up, so that was the one good thing. We go down to... S yeah, I mean, it's too late to make the 10th Street Dodger unblockable, so they messed up there. They should have made the Dodger unblockable before. So, yeah, that's this game. Just in case. Alright, good game. Um, yeah. Nice mistake there from our opponent. Okay, guys, we are playing Martyr Knights in best of one standard. We go first against a Yorian deck. I do like the Unbreakable Formation, but we are going to need another land, so we hope that we can find it in time. So we're going to go shuck ourselves and play Venerable Knight. Next turn, we can play Furbin Champion. And again, we're hoping to find a land for Unbreakable Formation. That would be great. That is indeed a land. Let's get Tournament Grounds and Furbin Champion. Go attacking here. Opponent goes down to 16. We're going to see a tap land, I'm assuming, here. Or a Bone Crusher Giant. All right, that's a Hollow Fountain. Um, I'm guessing Bone Crusher Giant is going to be played at some point. So we have to pass and keep Unbreakable Formation up. Just going to go attack in here. 
see what our opponent decides to do. They go Omen of the Forge. Um, unfortunately, that's... We're going to have to let that go. They kill the Knight. That's okay, because we get a counter out of the deal. Hit them for two. They go down to 12. Pass the turn. Let's see if they are going to Deafen and Clarion now or later. Ooh, this is Bandiorian. Okay. Play Uro. That's cool. They gain three. That's nice. Draw a card. Place a land. Sure. So we get to Blacklands Paragon at the end of their turn. This is fine. Doesn't really matter. Pass. The Aerotactus is really nice, actually. We're going to just attack here for five. Or six, actually, with the effect of Fervent Champion. Then our opponent needs to figure out how they're going to survive next turn. If they're planning to shatter the sky, we have Unbreakable Formation, which should be really good. And we have two of them, so... They don't have anything in the graveyard, so we don't have to worry about Uro coming down anytime soon. They could Yorian to try and bounce the Omen of the... Yep, there goes Yorian. That is fine. We get to do a couple of things here. So, what do we want to do? That's going to kill one of our creatures, right? Alright, let's wait for Omen of the Forge to come in. See what they target. Alright, opponents making decisions there. They target the Fervent Champion, so that's okay. I feel like I want to just Dire Tactics the Yorian here. That resolves. Gets Exile. We lose the Fervent Champion, that's okay. Pass the turn, we get a nice land. I do like that. Attack them for three. Pass the turn. Let's see what they have in hand. Here comes Nissa. Okay. Nissa is somewhat good. Of course. Okay. Plays a land. Short. Sure. Go down to two. Play Uro. Okay, so they're going to be at five. Huh. Definitely interesting choices there from our opponent. Alright, we just get the Troy land. That's fine. Pay two. Play the Worthy Knight. All right, let's go attacking them regardless. Get them down to two. Pass the turn. They know about Yorian, so I think that's why they don't want to shatter yet. See what other options they have in hand. Again, Uro is not coming back anytime soon. That's one good thing. All right, they are attacking, I guess, with the breeding pool. Sure. This means that they might be playing a Shatter the Sky this turn, which will be fine with us. Definite Clarion. We are going to Unbreakable Formation. Yep, they lose the land. They can get one into play here. And that's game. Good game, Bant Yorian. Okay, guys, we are playing Mardu Knights in best of one standard. We are on the play with a very aggressive hand and only one land. Um, against a non... A non-companion deck. We're going to try this, even though we shouldn't, but we are going to. If we draw a land in the next two turns, we might be okay. We can only hope that's the case, so shock ourselves to play a Knight of the Evil Legion. 
Pass the turn. All right, we see a mountain. So this is some sort of mono red strategy, I'm guessing. Yep, Scorch Spitter, cool. No land for us. Another knight is going to be play here. No attacks. Let's see what our opponent does here. We want to draw lands for dire tactics in order to avoid avoid a annex coming down and get getting big. Red source would be good at this point as well. We see a fervent champion. That's nice. No attacks. All right, there's a red source. I like that. Well, let's play the Inspiring Veteran. If they want to kill Inspiring Veteran, that's probably fine. They didn't have... doesn't seem like they had a shock in hand, so... That's cool. Annex might be coming down now. Or... All right, there's a shock. So they just waited or they just drew the shock. Okay, well, that's fine. We get to Fervent Champion. Pass the turn. No attacks again. This most we're kind of top decking here. I do like the Unbreakable Formation. That's going to be very good once we find another land. Castle Emberth is nice. And Torbren is definitely really nice. So, no attacks. We do get the Blood Crypt. We're going to shock ourselves for that. Our opponent could make a really bad play next turn. Wonder. Um. So maybe we do keep the Dire Tactics as an instant speed thing we can do. Same as the Unbreakable Formation. So no attacks. Pass the turn. Let's see what they want to do here. Rubber of the Rich. Sure. They go right into combat. So they're going to steal something from us. See how they attack. I guess that's, that's what we want to do. Alright, they steal that. That's not a bad one to steal from us, for sure. So we could just Black Lance Paragon. Kill the rubber. Don't think I mind that. We gain a life from the deal as well. They could shock the fervent champion. They don't. Okay. See what's next? Alright, knights. Doing pretty good against Mono Red here. That's a land. I do like that. That allows us to do a couple of things here. Alright, I think I do want to... Smith and Swordsman here. Gain some life. Drain our opponent a bit. No attacks. See what they do. Grow the Knight of the Ebon Legions. That's a good one. That's a good synergy there between Smith and Swordsman's and Knight of the Evil Legion. Pretty nice. They go with Phoenix. Okay. Let's see what's next. Go attacking with the Phoenix. Alright, so Dire Tactics is going to be used on the Torbrand this time. Very well. Now we can start attacking with our Fervent Champions. Interesting options that we have here. I think we attack with everything. Let our opponent make some decisions on blocks there. Alright. Block like that. Um, yeah, that seems fine. They get hit for four. Knight of the Evil Legions keep growing. I like that. And we have a Unbreakable Formation at the ready. I don't think even Embercleave does it here. I 
Okay, that is fine. Block like that. Here's the Embercleave. Yep, that's fine. Let's see what they put Embercleave onto. Alright, they do it that way. And that is fine. Now this is going to become a 4-2. And we have a 6-7. Uh, I think we just Unbreakable Formation. Let this happen. Kill the Rimrock Knight. Okay, very well. We go Lurus. Into Inspiring Veteran. Alright. Go attacking here. So opponent can block a 4 5. That is fine with us. Short, block the 5 2. Alright, so let's see. They can get the Phoenix to be a 3 3. Um, oh, yeah, I think, I think we're dead. I mean, we don't have any way to block this thing anyway, right? So... Ooh, we stay alive? Do they have a shock in hand? No, they don't. Oh, wow. Okay. Very cool. Good game, Mono Red. Okay, guys, we are playing Mardu Knights in Best of One Standard. Ooh, this hand would be great, but I'm not sure. We need more action. I guess I am going to keep this and just hope we draw more action in the next few turns. Sacred Foundry, shock ourselves for Venerable Knight. Seems fair. Let's see what's next. Maybe Oven or Cat. This is Ors of Lurus. Ooh, this is Cyclers. Okay. Well, I mean, that's not great per se, but we can Dire Tactics, the Flourishing Fox, go from there. At least we avoid that. Hit our opponent. We're going to see a Rescuer or a Stinger here. Or maybe our opponent kept, kept a one lander for the Fox. Nope, there's a Mountain. Alright. Cycles. Cool. Cycles again. I guess no more action for that turn. That's nice. We are going to keep shocking ourselves. Um, I think I want to play the Worthy Knight. <clears throat> Just in case our opponent starts like creating tokens later on. We also create own tokens. Let's drill a bit to take away any potential threats. Dranith Healer seems like a potential threat. We're going to take that away. <clears throat> Very well. Another land. Valiant Rescuer. Okay. That's nice. Got to start creating tokens. Sure. Well, our tokens are going to be bigger. So... Let's play the Inspiring Veteran, create a token, make these cards a bit bigger. It's cool, let's see what they want to do here. Okay, they create a token, see if they want to block with the Rescuer or just block with the 1-1. One -one. Alright, they go down to 13, it's nice. They could go for blood to kill something here if they wanted. Dragon the Stinger, sure. Cycles the Goat for blood. Create a token. Draw a card. Paying us for one. Alright, Worthy Knight. Do like that. Let's see how they block here. Unbreakable Formation is definitely interesting here. Alright, they cycle a fox, which is fine. They can kill the Inspiring Veteran. They could try to kill the Inspiring Veteran, right? So... Mm. 
Okay, one token there. And one token there. Are they gonna trade? Ooh, no, no trade. Okay. So this is fine with us. We get to play another worthy knight. We could also play Lurus. No, I think I like the worthy knight here. Create another token. Pass the turn. One is down to 10. Obviously, they could send a flare to gain some life back. Have six cards there. They could also play Lurus and play the Fox. That we wouldn't mind just because. Okay, there's the Lurus. And. Here comes the Fox, I believe. But that means we get to attack with everything next turn and make things indestructible. Alright, they're gonna choose to create a token. We are gonna go all in again. Force them to block stuff. I don't think we mind they gain some life with Lurus here. Okay, they are deciding. That is fine with us. They get to create a token, of course, to block something else. Although they are a little bit late because they're already on the blocking. So they might not have... I think they might have like Zenith Flare and not have another Cycler. Okay, block one of the three threes. Sure. Okay, three, two. So we are definitely going to... Unbreakable formation here. Make everything indestructible. Also hit them for a bunch more. And yep, they go to three. That's fine. Do they have a board wipe or do they have a way to just revive this? I don't know. I guess Senate Flare comes in now, gains them a bunch of life, kills something. We do have a Lurus, which will get us some stuff back. Alright, more Cyclers. Alright, here's a chance for their Zenith Flare. Poor Nine. Now, do they do that to us? Or do they do that to one of our creatures? I would like to draw a land, but we didn't draw the land, unfortunately. So... See what they're going to do here. We are going to go all in. Doesn't really matter what happens at this point, I think. We just need to really attack them and get in for as much as possible. They do have the Zenith Flares. So they're going to kill Inspiring Veteran. That's cool. That's fine. Worthy Knight stays alive. Zenith Flare us. Yep. So I guess they can kill us next turn with another Zenith Flare. Let's play the Lurus and play Knight of the Eba Legion just to hope for the best. But obviously another Zenith Flare does it and not much we can do about that. I think we have played a good game and it's not much we can do. Cycle. They cycle again, so maybe they don't have the Zenith Flare. They're just looking for it. Let's see if they found it. All right cycle again so they can't really send his flare now and that's game good game boros cycle that was all for today please make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video and click the bell icon if you want to get notified whenever we upload new videos have a good one